Oh man, you guys, it's three o'clock in the morning and I just got back, well me and Rob ran out to Indianapolis to go get a bunch of feeders in the middle of a snowstorm, you know the way we do. Took us two rental cars just to get there and back. That's a story for another day. But when I came back, I walked into the basement, past the snake room, and I could smell something was up. Check this out. Okay, so the first thing is that these are the first Madu locality uh, super doors, the first pure Madus to hatch in close to a decade. Look at that. Woo -hoo. So we're gonna look at those in a minute. And then secondly, if you don't like the locality stuff, oh, she's not done, I'm gonna leave her alone. But this is super high percentage, super dwarf, head orange ghost stripes, possible visual anneries that are 100% head orange ghost stripe. Okay, back to the Madus. So we're just gonna go at it kind of owner operator style here. What's up you little guys, come on. These eggs are old and crude and nasty and giving me gray hairs. Uh, this is from The Clutch. Those of you guys that have been following, oh, I see a little eyeball poking, hello. Hello, little Madu, welcome back. Welcome back, it's been a long time. This has been never for me. <laughs> Look at this. Oh man, hi. What's up, Tiny? Hello? Yes, I can see a tiny bit of your pattern and it looks so classically Madu. Oh. So these eggs are looking really gnarly. If you guys joined us live for the Karampas cutting their eggs, that was pretty incredible. We had, they were actually cutting while we did our regularly scheduled Wednesday live feeds. But boy, these these pure localities. This So I, what I was saying is this is the clutch that the female laid a half of a clutch and then got egg bound. After getting nine beautiful eggs, um, you know, she she basically cleared half of, of her reproductive system out and the other half is stuck. And this is a this is a big major deal. And we managed to to save her um, which was fantastic. And now we got these little babies. Come on babies. Look at that. Look at that Madu stripe on the tail. Oh. I know these videos are annoying. I've watched these videos from home before and you're like, I can't see anything. But don't worry. We do lots of updates around here. Oh man, Madu's. I texted Rob, He, uh, I dropped him off at his house first. He's, he only lives a few minutes away. I said, oh my gosh, the Madu's are hatching. You coming over or what? And he's like, oh, I'm already in bed. I'll text you tomorrow. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is so exciting. This is the, uh, the sixth out of the seven pure localities that uh, a few years ago I decided, you know, if we're going to do super doors, we better do them right. And I, I focused very hard on putting together uh, some pure locality groups, you know, like making sure that, that we had gathered up the last of kind of like the, the reliable animals. This one you can see really, really well the way it's sitting in the egg. That big, wide open Madu backstripe. Look at that. That is a very, very silver animal as well. But these Madu animals have, um, they have been bred before and they have produced visual annery stuff in morphs and everything else. 
Um, so we know we have Annery running in these bloodlines, which is just kind of a cool little bonus if we did get any. Um, I personally do not own any pure locality anneries of any kind yet. Even though we hatched the first Karampas. But I'm telling you, and I, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that looks awfully suspect. This little dude right here. There's one egg deep down underneath that's going to be tricky to get at if I don't pull that one on top such a tiny clutch there's so much stuff going on we just tossed them in this this egg box without separating all the eggs which I'm kind of doing more and more of these days I worry less and and less about mold just kind of threw them together hi hi little Madus. how you guys doing I need to get to this number three egg down here. So one of them had pipped on their own and I can see all kinds of little slashes from underneath with the egg tooth on these other eggs. Python, this python species anyway, I don't know about all of them, but this python species, they generally all hatch within about a day of each other. So once one pips, you know they're, they're ready to go. And the real reason I'm cutting these is because they are so dimpled in, like this one I just cut and wrinkled up. Yeah, this one and this one both look kind of anery, don't they? Um, that I just didn't want to, like this one looks good. He's still got lots of fluid left. But when they start getting real dried out like that, that's when they kind of, there's not a lot of room to move around in there. I just worry about them getting tangled or something. Especially if they're pipping now. I was gonna say I gotta come back many hours from now, but I guess it's three o'clock in the morning. It's not gonna be that many hours. Wow, that's a really classic Madu in there from what I can see. The, the patterns on these guys are, I mean, we just hatched Karampas, the third clutch of Karampas ever in the US the other day. And now we got Madus. And the Madus and the Karampas, look very very distinct from each other they're they're kind of the two so madu karampa and kalatoa are the smallest three localities um of the retics and of the three appearance wise karampas and madus are the the kind of two ends of the spectrum so it's pretty cool pretty cool to be hatching these and I, I've got just a, a ton of time and money and everything invested in, uh, in these animals. All right, guys, move over. Let your little brother out. Come on. Oh, these guys are so cute. They look great, guys. These eggs are pretty glued to each other. Normally, you, you gotta worry after a while about pulling them apart, but because you don't want to rip one, but that's uh, kind of exactly what we're doing here right now. So, ah, see, I did rip that one. All right, here's a close look just because this guy got kind of squeezed out. Look at that. <laughs> that's it. Hi. I see you looking at me. Look at you. Hi, guys. Yeah, these guys are definitely... So they're they're on, uh, like, day... Look at this. Like, day 77 right now. Don't be shy. It's okay. And you can see by the coloration of the uh, albumin that they were ready to go. The blood is normal. That's just the, the veins. You can see on the inside of the eggshell, that's, that's how they get all their... Um, See that vein structure and everything that was in there? Very deteriorated. See the, the veins had almost nothing left. That's how they, you know, they get their oxygen exchange and everything else. So this late in the game, there's just no more support system for them left in there. And the eggs dimpled in real tight like that right before they hatch because um, 
because they're absorbing all that yolk and they've just they've just used everything up from the inside of the egg so this is pretty cool i'm exhausted and excited now i gotta go pull some eggs well actually we'll probably let her stay till morning she didn't look like she was done laying yet good night guys